Hello my friends and welcome back once again to the 30 Years War. It has definitely been some time since I've been able to carry on with this and I am raring to go. So, right then, what is actually happening right about now? We have the Protestant forces in Badan, which we have uh, within our grasp, basically. They could be dealt with. There's only about uh, two uh, units, regiments, brigades. I'm going to go with regiments of cavalry. And we can look at our own cavalry to try and work out what that might entail. Now, I can't look at these Bavarian regiments as they are indeed different. So let's find a true cavalry regiment, which would be this. Um, this is an Archibus uh, cavalry unit, basically the little pistols. But... Um, around 400. So we're looking something in the region of about 800, potentially over a thousand cavalry, something in that uh, region of possibility. The uh, month is March, the weather is pretty decent right now. Well, it's good where we are, but it's not very good over here as there's quite a bit of mud. So that does dictate the amount of time it will take to travel. Though it is only a short distance from where we are right now, and we are on the roads of General Bukoy. So we do have quite a good place to go, and I, I, I really wish Bukoy was better. The 145, I mean the 45 is pretty good, but just do one. It's just, it's just awful. It's so bad right now. Uh, we do need more Empire Troops, which is actually something that we need to think about. And do I actually have any more Empire Troops within my realm? I do not see any. We do have the Protestant forces back here. We do have some Bavarians holding Prague for the moment. Other than that, we really don't have too much. So what I could potentially do... Well, do we're doing is actually send them some forces back to deal with this sort of thing. And I am tempted to send Tilly, in a way. I am fairly tempted, but I think I'll just send like a contingent of... Uh, of actual Bavarian forces. We do have these forces up here in the north. But I am definitely going to need more men. Well, I do have these cavalry forces here, don't I? I have this force here. So if I was to put this in the actual main army itself, that would bring our numbers up to about 12,300. Um, obviously, I will have to reinforce these units. I'm just conscious that the music is not loud enough right now because I have the microphone in a different position. So hopefully it is. Okay, so this would bring us to about 1,552 horse. Uh, though we do need a commander, so I think I would send this colonel. Interesting that he does not indeed have a name, but oh well, he is who he is. So if I was to send this small force of about almost about uh, almost 2,000 cavalry, almost 2,000 cavalry, I don't think they would fare too well against regular forces. They're not really designed for that. Though they are pretty damn fast, so I think they may come in handy for a different purpose. Philipsburg. Is this in my control? Yes it is. Uh, what's interesting is we control most of the cities. We do not control Wurzburg. So I could actually send them there. That would be quite good. It'd be 20 days by cavalry. How would that be for us? If we were, Yes, okay, so you can see the difference there. 20 days opposed to 49 days. So you can definitely see the difference that we would be facing there. I do want to wipe out those forces at Badum. I really do. It would definitely help the situation out considerably. Um, the only issue is we don't really have too many resource, uh, well, supply points. But the thing is, on the road to Heidelberg, we will have to visit Verdun, and it is indeed a victory point. So, I th well, actually, now there is Ulm. We could resupply at Ulm. So, we'll travel to Ulm. Hopefully, the weather will clear up, as I believe that would allow us to travel faster. So we'll have to make do then for the moment in time. I will have to send those cavalry forces north. Uh, we do have a little bit of cash and we do have some war supplies. So we could do something potentially. I may look into recruiting some extra units. I don't like the idea of the mercenaries. It's good obviously, but they're not what I need right now. Uh, we do need to replace the Bavarians' losses, so we'll have to see what we can do about that. And we can actually replace quite a few of them. How many do we actually need? Well, we do need quite a bit. That's the issue. So I suppose... Um, how much would we need to actually recruit a regular formation? So this is a pikeman regiment. 
Imperial Imperial. So double Imperial. Hmm. The regiment would come with two units of armored pikemen, um, half arquebuses, and some musketeers. That would cost us 11 money and 6 war supply. I do need to maintain some actual cash. So I think what I'll do then is instead of replacing the Empire's losses, well, the Imperial losses for the time being, I'll instead recruit another proper full regiment. Interestingly, we have some Archibuser cavalry. Ah, I see. Catholic Archibuser cavalry. Imperial Archibuser cavalry. What would be the difference? Okay, so if we still look at the Archibuser... Bonjour, friends! I am back again as the game continues to crash. I need to have like a bloody note saying do not do this during this Geod game, as it's likely to cause crashes. It's irritating as I could do it with bloody to end all wars, but no. 30 Years War is uh, obviously still brand new. Ah, god damn it, I'm gonna have to do the orders again. That's the bloody most annoying thing I have to do every bloody time. Oh well, I'll live, I'll live. Okay, 20 days as of we discussed. 26 days to Ulm? Fair enough. Uh, I'll just bring that to Ulm. 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 Okay. We obviously do have the force of Tilly. Um, yeah, see, he is in Munich, so he's going to be, of course, within supply. There's a lot of cavalry here, but you can definitely see that this cavalry is beaten up. His own force is actually fairly... Yeah, they are actually pretty good. I just love his stats. The 754, that's pretty damn impressive. That's what I wish uh, Bogoy was. But we now know that we do have to... Be, well, we do have to replace a lot of these losses. So I think what we'll do then is we will go for a... Couple regiments then, I guess. And we'll go for the one regiment. That should be sufficient to reinforce the garrisons. As the, we're only facing at a maximum of two regulars... And that would be about it. I could do actually with capturing Breslau. That's quite an important city. We do hold Ulm, and I could do with putting a garrison in Pilsen. So that's something. Actually, I'll put these cavalry in Pilsen. They're only 10 days away. So at least they'll be able to ca uh, Well, I was going to say capture it, but at least garrison it. So that's important. Right then, so the rest of the war production and cash I shall indeed put into the Bavarian military. Well... I uh, can afford to replace quite a bit of the cavalry. We'll go for that for now. For the time being. Um, actually, then again, I'm going to pull back on that just so I have a little bit of cash. Uh, 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 just, I'll pull back on the infantry and put it back onto the cavalry. Bring that to 5-5. Five five. I just want to have a little bit of cash in case it does indeed cost me to uh, pay the men and I accidentally press the wrong button there. Whoops. I forget the buttons on this one. The UI is very different to the other games. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time getting used to each one of them. I could do with garrison each one of these cities just to keep them under my control. But in the north, in this area near Kassel, we're actually doing fairly okay. We don't really have a garrison here, which is obviously an issue. We are without supplies here. Victory points would be Hanover. Only Hanover in this area. So, it's interesting. There's not much of a garrison here. We have about 5,000... Uh, we have about 6,000 and a half men, kind of. 6,500 men-ish. I'm just trying to think what we could potentially do. Now, I'd love to head down here, as this would be the easiest target to achieve, as it is also an objective, but they are not on the road, so our movement over there would be very difficult. I'm thinking I need to move before the weather turns. Now, that's my prerogative right now. So, if we were to head north to Hanover, we could be there in 32 days. And then if I was to strike at Minden, I could try and take those uh, supplies, and possibly this city. Though the city will have a garrison, so it is debatable as to what would happen. Hmm. 
Instead, what I'll do is I'll send a force of... Uh, I'll send some cavalry to actually garrison Hanover. At least then they will have something in the way of a garrison to protect the city itself, and I will not have to see it lost straight away. So at least in that manner I'll be able to hold on to the city for a little bit of time. I don't know if the Protestants will have enough cannon to take it down within any reasonable length of time to be scared of. So that will be that. The forces will definitely move out, they will move to Tay Wurzburg. Um, the army of Tilly will stay here for the moment and recuperate. I could send on Tilly himself with his actual group of men, but honestly I should probably keep him in Munich for the time being just to replenish, and he's closer to Bohemia than the forces of Bokoi are right now. So he's kind of there if things go badly. So we'll just uh, save the turn once more. I shall check if I have any decisions that can be made that could potentially- Ah, we could have aid from the Emperor. Uh, not from the Emperor, from the Pope, Grigori. So we'll have aid from Grigori the 15th. Okay. Other than that, there's not too much else to be done. Um, I'm tempted to hire the Croatian mercenaries actually to garrison some of these cities. But that's not going to be too needed. Well, it's not going to be needed, sorry. Uh, we could defer, well, we could build some defensive works in some areas. We'll see. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not really too much of a point there. Uh, we're not sieging anything right now. Mercenary infantry, mercenary cuirassa, mercenary arquebusa, requisitions, contributions. Um, with that, da, da, da. give seven failures and two war supply next turn at the cost of some loyalty. Hmm. Basically, it would pillage the region. So I don't really want to do that. And do I really need to keep this up? I suppose I might as well just see what happens. I'm going to influence some of these cities actually to keep them on side, or at least improve loyalty to the Catholic cause and of the righteous emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, the Second Reich. Okay. So there's not too much else to be done right now. It's just a series of movement orders. So we will advance the turn. Not going to touch anything, because I don't want the game to crash again. I'm going to be really, really, really annoyed if it crashes. We'll see. I'm praying. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, it didn't crash. So that's good. That's really good. It's really nice, actually. I'm quite glad I don't have to repeat myself again. Okay, so we are seeing some forces over here, actually. What are we seen in Würzburg? We are seeing some 12-pounder cannon. And a Protestant detachment actually within Würzburg itself. Now, that's interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. I could send the Spanish forces to assist in the siege of Würzburg. But, yeah. Hmm. There's a Protestant detachment in Hildeberg and a supply, plus the corpse of Van de Merven. So that's... yeah, it's it's not really... What we'll do then is I shall keep that core there for the moment. I shall attach the Spanish cavalry to the HR resupply, so they will at least resupply the Riverian forces. Uh, Bakoy is moving up to Badan, but it will still take 56 days at the least. Okay, so there's really no way... That's 20 days. That's 18 days. So if we were to travel to Hel El Hilbron, that would be 36 days. If we were to travel here and then here, that would be 38 days. How about if we did that? 56 days? 72 days. So the fastest way is obviously this way then. Fair enough, then uh, that will be the course of action we do take. Okay, cavalry, cavalry, supply, supply. If we can capture the supply though, that will be a major boon to us, so we'll have to hope for that. Um, the forces of Tilly have recovered somewhat. They are doing fairly well. Not entirely recovered as we can see. Yeah. Where are? Ah, okay, on the cannon. 
But that's not really an issue. Uh, it is now April, so we'll have to uh, decide what we're going to do. Bloody hell, Tilly could be there in 41 days. That's... that's impressive. Why is it so bad right here? The mud? Potentially. But that is pretty damn bad. Okay, so we'll enter into the city of Pilsen to at least give it to the garrison. There we go. Vienna. Still this force here. I really doubt he has anything. But I suppose I could in the future try and defeat him. Then at least I would have him under my control. And I could trade him for other generals or other leaders in the future. So that's something that we do have to bear in mind. Um, right. So our forces have reached Hanover. Yeah. 96 days. The weather will not hold before that. Hmm. He has recovered, though, in strength due to the fact we have reinforced them. How long would this take? 64 days. I apologise for that noise. That would be my little brother being annoying. Okay. I shall be one moment. Right, sorry, I do apologise for that. Um, if you do watch me, you will realise I do not have my own place, so... <laughs> ah, distractions are there. I do apologise for it. I imagine it's not that loud, it's just, uh, it's just like OCD, isn't it? So, anyway, right, continue with the game then. So, uh, 41 days to castle? No, really? 41 days to castle? Castle, castle, castle. I'll go with castle. So, uh, hmm, 22, 42, 72, 71, sorry. So I think that would be the best course of action. If I head for Hanover, I could leave a garrison here of the actual cavalry. It does actually reduce our force strength. How many men would we have in here? Only 576 men. Well, there's really no point then, because the city would fall to any determined attack. I am kind of threatened, and there's not really even that much of a strength here. So I suppose it's just the fact I don't have the supplies. That's what makes me nervous. I would rather have supply. So in that matter, I think what we'll do then is we'll hold up for the time being. We'll hold up. I just wish there was somewhere else that we could send supplies. I could actually send... Yes, I think I have a plan then. What I'll do then is I'll send the weakest of the cavalry. It does lower our strength, but we still have sufficient strength to be able to hold our position right here. But what I can do then is I can send this force down here. Bloody hell, 101 days? Fucking hell. I wish it was Dalmatians and not days, but fuck. Why would that take so long? It's... I know they're slow moving, but god damn. Can we not recruit anything in this area? I really... That's, that's bloody harsh. That is definitely harsh. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. As even these areas that do produce supply, it doesn't show on here for some reason. Ah, that just shows the amount of uh, uh, supplies that are stockpiled, not their actual production. So, there could be supplies being produced here, but we're not actually... Right, current supply level is 7. 7. Let's compare this to a place that we know produces supplies. That would be 35, 16. Okay, 33. So the thing is, there's supplies here, but there's not really enough. So I suppose we'll stay here now, for now, sorry. And we'll have to see what happens in the future. Perhaps this region could open up and it might allow for faster travel. But I can't see the future, so we'll have to wait and find out then, shall we? Right, yo. Let's take a look at the log, is there anything? There's absolutely nothing here. Just the fact that a lot of men are moving. Right, a lot of men are moving into Augsburg simultaneously, resulting in Count Bacoy's detachment being slowed significantly. Yes, this is due to the heavy amount of traffic through Augsburg. So that can't really be helped. 
Okay. Hmm. So it took control over there. Still being unsuccessful in whatever this bloody thing is, though I do believe he's dead. So, what's really the point? Who knows? We might as well continue then and just see what it could potentially do in the future. Maybe it could do something amazing, maybe it could bring Hungary in for us. I doubt it, but who knows? So I've not played through this game. I'm sure by uh, the time you're watching this, there's probably been quite a few people have completed and beat the game. So, oh well, we'll have to find out by ourselves then if you haven't, along with me. So we'll uh, continue forwards, hopefully by not moving the mouse. It should be good. Hopefully. Right, so we've seen movement. Right, so we've seen them move to Hanover. Now that's interesting, because that force is actually pretty depleted. Now that that is really interesting. There's still 101 worth of uh, power here. But, but. How long would this take? That would be 32 days. 32 days, 32 days here. No matter what, it's still going to be 32 days. So if they can't... Bloody hell, we've just gained all this garrison. So we've just gained 4,000 men from the garrison, potentially. And we obviously do have the 944 men here. So about potentially 5,000 men who could join the battle. And they are very much diminished. So what we could do then is move out. I can't force him to march as he's not activated, which is a shame. I wish I could have moved there um, two days fast and I could have been there to potentially cause some issues for the Protestants. Uh, we do have our supplies over here, so that's good. I'll send this Spanish detachment back to Frankfurt. But we are holding them there. Tilly is 15 days from the actual site of the city. Uh, Wurzburg is intact. It has no Problems. I wonder if I could use some of these things. Landmines. No. That's uh, unfortunate. Got to love the music. This game has absolutely exceptional music. Okay. Control the Hanseatic cities. Control the Hanseatic cities of Lübeck, Bremen, and Hamburg. Means control of the uh, port of trade. So, do I actually have control of the Hanseatic cities? I do. Interesting. This may not last though, as Denmark is not far from joining. I think they historically joined in 1622, was it? Or 1622? Was it 1626? I'm not too sure. We'll have to see though. As this area did definitely expand, so I imagine more, more of the map will in time. But we'll have to see how things go. Bukoy is still moving. He'll be there in 40 days. 40 days. Is there any way we could speed this up then? If I was to separate the supply... I wonder what that could potentially do for us. So if we were to do this, he'd be there in 40 days. So no matter what, it's still going to take that amount of time. Um, okay. Hmm... I could leave two pieces of supply over here with Bukoy. I could take the fifth group under Mr. Maridas, combine that with this over here, and then we could continue forward, and at least then we're splitting our force and we're able to move forward and help the goals at large. So we are still seeing the Protestant, well, yes, the Protestant forces over here. Um, again, not really much of an issue. The Pikeman Regiment is here. Okay. Other than that, there's not too much going on right now. Yep, control the Hanseatic cities. Okay. Troopers fighting for the uh, Protestants are scorching Hildeberg. That's interesting, that's going to make it difficult to be able to try and take the city. But basically what the plan is, we're going to have Bukoy and Tilly take different routes to Hildeberg. But uh, Tilly will take Wurzburg and Bamberg, then Bukoy will take Badan and then he will march on the city of Hildesburg and he will be joined by Tilly in the future once Bamberg and Wurzburg are firmly back in our control. 
once we have taken that, if the scenario allows us, we will continue our march to the north. Which is where the war does indeed seem to be going. We do have these forces over here, which are being quite the bloody pain, but we'll have to see how things go in the future. Um, I will actually send this force out to Regensburg. We do have the garrison in Linz. What I'm thinking is basically to garrison Regensburg, uh, Regensburg, to at least provide something of a holding force. Breslau is actually open right now, that's interesting. Indeed. Brandenburg, you will be instrumental in this war, I can tell. Right. Right, 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 right. Regions allegiance. So obviously, we have the Polish were undecided. The French are pretty much on the side of the Protestants. So we'll have to see how that's going to go. England, weirdly split up. Well, you can see that these forces are definitely holding their own opinions right now. Brandenburgers, 41%. You are fairly loyal to the Imperial Crown, though. So Brandenburg could indeed join us. Where is Brandenburg? Brandenburg, 40% to the Imperials. That's not what your regions say. That must be your impersonal position on the matter. But no matter, we'll see how things progress. Right, we could ask for more aid from Grigori. Right, we do have this, which is fantastic. So what we'll do then is we shall save the turn and we shall advance. There does seem to be a distinctive uh, delay between the music, so let's see what we can do with the options here. Yes, music. I'll have a uh, short delay. Yes, there we go. Music should be on more often now, which is obviously a lot better. It's always more interesting, more fun. So, advance the turn once more. Mm -hmm. Right here, guys, back once more. Hopefully, this will be the last time, as I'll probably bring the session to a close, as I do not want it to cry uh, well, keep crashing on me. At least if I can find some kind of fix. So things have definitely changed. The main Protestant force has decided to move out, which is actually fantastic for me as that leaves me in a great position to strike at the cities here. So I think what I will do is I will go for castle. Or castle. 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 Uh, what I'll do though is I will send the supplies with the force of uh, cavalry. Now basically, oh god I don't want them going that way. They will enter into the city. They will hopefully refill the supplies in the actual wagon itself. That should hopefully be enough. I will have the forces from Hanover join me. There we go. They should join up when we increase our power. Uh, we do have the force of Tilly over Wurzburg. So we do have our chance here. What force would we be facing here? Nothing in the way that could potentially down it. Well, threaten us. We obviously do have the detachment here. So I could indeed add that to the main army, which I have done. We still have the Spanish forces I forgot to send out as I redid the turn, but oh well. I will send them with the Imperial supplies, as we can use that over here for the Imperial troops. But yes, right then. So Tilly is indeed activated. Could you be a core commander? You could not, so that's a shame. So we have about 17,000 men here and only four cannon. So cannon is exceptionally rare. Well, at least this form of cannon is exceptionally rare. So what we'll do then is we could go into full assault. And I honestly think that would be worth it. Okay. Now if we did this. Hmm. Whoops. Right. So they should assault then, well, they should assault Wurzburg under the Commander Tilly, which is honestly the best commander I have right now. So Bokoi is almost at Badan. So what I may do is actually keep these forces at Stugat for the time being to at least offer support if there is indeed a battle that is joined. And they do have the cannon, actually. 
Yeah. Right, actually, what I'll do then is I'll bring Madras, or Madras, into the battle itself, and at least his cannon will prove useful. Other than that, our Pikeman Regiment is moving forwards, as this Protestant force is going to be pain in the arse, as it looks. Um, everything else does indeed seem to be fine. I could do a recruiting somebody. I don't know if the event for the help from the Pope is actually working. It doesn't seem to be. Perhaps I do need to... I wonder if there's actually an update on the forum. I haven't checked since I got back if there's actually an update on the forum. So I could potentially be playing an older version of the game where some of these things may be fixed. So that's something I've got to bear in mind for the future. And something I will check after the video itself. So hopefully we'll be able to get through this turn without any incident. At least I would love that. Okay, yeah. Grigori. It doesn't seem as though it's working. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, not too many orders to give right now to make sure they know to go in there. Madras will head to st uh, to Badan. It is a level 2 fort or a size 2 fort. Over here is a size 2 fort as well. So, we'll have to see how things go. Um, there's only a small force at Bamberg. So, the fight in here should be quick. Rather not move the mouse at all and just see how. Uh, Things go. Come on, game. There we go. Interesting. So it seems that uh, they have indeed retreated. And the turn actually processed. Holy shit. So there's still the garrison here. Ah, and here we go. Right then. So I've got a little bit more of an understanding of the game then. Hey, hey, hey. Doing pretty well, aren't I? Right. So how long can our supplies last? We do have some supplies right now. So we're not desperate as of yet. So the thing is we could save this until we start running low on surprise. Well, supplies, not surprise. <laughs> and then we can run it back and forth. I could send this Spanish detachment north then with some more supplies. It would take 45 days. But at least they would have a escort of about 400 horse. So that sounds good for me. Um, the assault did not actually take place, which is fine. I suppose I do have to go full out on the assault. So what I probably do then is play it safe, use a landmine and the expert gunners, try and score a breach in the city's defences, and at least that will make it a hell of a lot easier to storm than just going full at it. Right, yes, as I predicted, Regensburg, or Regensburg. Which I could potentially stomp that force with Tilly, but I am looking at the timing. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Right, so we have two cities under siege then. And I use both over here then. Well, that I have to do then for the time being. It'll keep units. I just use one. Well, zero, sorry. Right. We suffered some hits from the foul weather, or from exhaustion. Okay. The Protestants have asked England for help. We've received our tax income from Frankfurt, Mannheim, and Vienna. So that's good then. We should be able to replace some losses that we've taken during these rounds. Um, yes, actually. Bit of a waste. Hmm. Well, there we go. That should cover most of the losses during that round. As there's not too much that we can actually recruit right now. So, we'll see how things go then. I shall end the turn, not move the mouse. Apparently moving the mouse can cause issues. I'm not too sure why. I also do notice that the processing bar is in the middle, whereas before it tends to slide over for some reason. And the turn went through. Fine. Right. Death of Gregory the 15th. Pope Gregory the 15th dies in the Kiranal Palace at the age of 69. Okay. Urban the 13th. Hmm. We have a siege in Castle, but nothing was achieved. Okay, so we've achieved nothing in both of these sieges. Uh, well, we're still in August, so we do have some time, so that's something at least. Yeah, we do have the expert gunners. 
ends in two turns. So there's a 35% chance with this and a 30% chance with this. So either way, we have a good chance of scoring a hit. I'll have these forces head over and meet here. So they will be there within the turn. They are using some of their supplies, so I'll have these forces move out as well. And we should have a good enough force there. Uh, we do have the Spanish cavalry, so we can uh, resupply the supply trains as we need to, and at least have a garrison there. Oh, well, a escort for them. The Protestant force threatening Regensburg isn't going to be much of an issue. Other than that, there's really not too much, as we're basically just sieging down the cities of Badan and Wurzburg. Uh, convert to Catholic, I'm not seeing any new cities, I've not seen anybody over here that we can influence. So once again, we shall let the time pass, the month pass. So hopefully in the next 30 days we should be able to score a breach in the walls of Wolfsburg or Castle... Uh, sorry, Badan. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, I could assault at Wurzburg, but I don't want to take losses. Right, so the Protestant forces have moved to Minden. There we go, the supplies have reached the force in the north. Yeah, I, I'm sure it, it must be something to do with the mouse, and I wonder if you do not move the mouse. I wonder if that does indeed affect whether the game will crash. And if it does, that's really interesting and kind of weird. As I've not seen the bar move when I've not moved the mouse. Right, there we go, so we're at our full uh, thing. We'll just have these forces move over here just so they're not in uh, the area using supplies unnecessarily. Right then. Subject to siege. So the Protestant forces have not really been able to move too much. Oh, you little dick, he's back, isn't he? Fuck's sake. Okay. Ah, we have a breach in Wurzburg. One breach. One breach. That may be all we need, to be honest. That is literally all we need. So we're going to go for the assault. Right. Okay. That's fine by me. There's only 99 there. Well, as over here, it would be more risky, as there is indeed something to fight back. So that's fine by me. Right, elements of our units are affected by inability to pay their upkeep. Right then, so I do have to be careful about this then. It's a little bit late as I've already spent it, but oh well. We can bear that in mind in the future then. Okay. And proceed. Yeah, see how the bar is in the middle. I'm sure that's not just me who's noticed that. That's got to be something, but watch it'll crash. No, no, it doesn't crash. Ah. That's interesting. And Wurzburg has fallen. That was a uh, quick battle. Yes. The capture of Wurzburg in Franconia has done much to bolster support for the war. So we are succeeding against the enemy and we have earned five engagement points. Interesting. And that just gained us a fuck ton. Holy shit. Ah, because it is indeed a objective. I feel I may win the campaign fairly early, <laughs> at the rate it's going right now. I don't think the Protestants really have enough force, as they've not really done much with it or controlled it well. Okay, 12 days, be it Bamberg, there's hardly anything here, so the city should fall. Doing well over here, we still have no uh, breaches within the city. Okay. I would have liked to see. Uh, I guess they just surrendered. That's got to be basically what happened then. They must have just surrendered. So we've only taken 12,000 losses as opposed to the Protestants' 19,000 losses. Well, 19,600 losses, which is obviously quite a large amount more. Though the Protestants still do have uh, some morale, they're not doing too good right now. Uh, 37 power, as. Yeah, apparently we have the huge amount of uh, advantage over them, which we can definitely see. We do have a shit ton more forces. So, uh, we'll see if we have the ability to use the landmines. Yes, we do. Uh, we don't have the expert gunners, though, because it's still over here, I do believe. Um, I can keep trying to negotiate to see what that potentially does. Nothing really to convert to our cause. 
So we'll have to see how things go on then. Uh, so, uh, yes, save the game. And advance forwards. Hopefully we could have a breach in Badan. If we have a breach in Badan, that will allow us to assault the city. Okay, yeah, I can't believe it. Just not moving the mouse then. Apparently that helps. Go figure, but that apparently helps. Okay. So I can move these supplies back over here. As we can see, they are being used up fairly quickly. Um, uh, we have Besieging Castle, but we achieved nothing this month. This is here, but done nothing. Unsuccessful. Right. Both players receive diplomatic cards. Oh my. That's interesting. We might be able to bring somebody else into the war then. Ah, right. Diplomacy on main. Diplomacy on true. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell, these options. These options indeed. Who do I want to bring in or at least slow down? Interesting. France would be the most beneficial. The United Provinces is pretty damn close. How about England? Their navy could be very nice. They are more to the Protestants. Denmark is close to Protestants. Sweden, obviously close to Protestants. Hmm. But then, uh, Bavaria is already in the war. Right. Brandenburg could be good too. But I'm going to try and bring France if I can. Do I have the option for France? I don't seem to, actually. Okay, increases the loyalty at the cost of five engagement points. Oh my god, could I actually use all of these? Oh, yes. I have so many engagement points, this is kind of broken. Influence! Influence everybody! Jesus, that seems a little unfair. Definitely not like to end all wars where you only have the few, but so oh well. I am the bloody emperor. Obviously, I'm going to have quite a bit of influence. Rather, so they have moved back then. Pilsen is garrisoned as well, so... Going, going pretty well. Hopefully those forces will eventually dissolve into nothing as they are without supplies. Let's take a look at our VP compared to the Protestants. Obviously, 736. I feel quite bad, but honestly, that's how it goes. Right, so we've taken Bamberg. I could try and wipe out this force. They only have the cavalry. So I think what I'll do then is I'll dispatch the cavalry of the Bavarians. A bloody huge amount of it as well. Well, that's far more than he actually... What the fuck's sake? There we go. So we'll take six then. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And it takes a general. I actually took seven there by mistake, so... Doi. There we go. So that is a hell of a lot of cavalry. That's 2,000 cavalry. We are going to hunt him down. Sadly, we can't actually go actively hunting, as we're not activated right now. But the thing is, we've achieved victory over here. We've taken Bamberg and Wurzburg back for the Empire. So I can begin the march to Hildenberg. I could be there in 40 days. If I go to Frankfurt and then Frank uh, to Hildenberg, I would be there in 47 days. So I'll go here and I will arrive in Frankfurt in 28 days. At least I can resupply my men and have some of them replaced, which is good for me. Uh, we don't have any breaches in the city of Bedan yet, so that's fine. We'll have to see who could potentially join the war. I suppose it is fairly fair as each side gains the same amount of engagement cards, so... Well, influence cards, whatever you want to call it. It's just, I, I just really did not need to spend many engagement points. And they did go down. I did have 129, I'm now down to 75. So I wouldn't be able to do that many times. So I imagine you will have to choose who you influence. But, oh well, oh well. 
Let's see who could potentially join us. Bremen is doing quite nice. That's 69. 69. Yeah. So, Cologne, Bremen, and Mainz could be quite close. Spain, we're just increasing that. So, we're not able to influence the United Provinces or France or England. Well, as they can. So, that's fine enough. We can influence the minor states, but we have issues when it comes to anything major. So, fine. Fine by me. We gain control of Bamberg. I do need to have some cash remain in vents. So that's something I'll have to do. I could uh, requisition something. I could go for some contributions. I'll go for some contributions from, uh, let's see, Bamberg. So at least that'll give me a little bit of uh, failures and that's turn to work with. Okay, we'll end the turn there. Hopefully we'll have some breaches in Badan. And potentially be able to move out. That uh, force is definitely moving somewhere else. Potentially moving to Helbenstadt or Helbenstadt to resupply. I don't know.